This video is going to explore ideas on how a coach can support sailors to develop the competencies that will allow them to make good tactical choices as they approach, round and exit a lured mark. We start by giving an example of a scenario sailors may have experienced previously at the lured mark. This can be described as a problem to be solved. In our chosen scenario we see two toppers arriving at the lured mark. The red hull boat holds an inside overlap as they enter the zone, therefore the outside boat is required to give mark room. This leaves the blue topper positioned to leeward and sat in the dirty air of red as they exit the mark and start the next leg of the course. To allow sailors to solve the problem and avoid being caught in the dirty air of boats to windward as they exit the leeward mark, they will need to have a clear interpretation of what success looks like. To achieve success, sailors will need to develop a practical understanding of Rule 18, boat on boat positioning as they approach, round and exit the mark. Further, there should be a consideration to their strategic choices for the next leg of the course. On the majority of occasions, a successful lured mark rounding will involve a sailor exiting close to the mark and at full boat speed on the new close haul course. This clip also shows good use of positioning by the outside boats who are required to give mark room. They can be seen executing their turns to close hauled for the mark, with the aim of being able to position themselves in a more windward lane than the boat in front. Now we look at an activity you can use to replicate leeward mark scenarios experienced while racing. It provides sailors the opportunity to problem solve a variety of situations. Lured Mark Mayhem can be started using a follow my leader behind a coach boat upwind of the Lured Mark. On the coach's signal, the sailors bear away and compete downwind to position themselves so that they can achieve a successful mark rounding. With the addition of a windward mark, the same activity can be used to challenge sailors to consider how tactical decisions will allow them to execute their race strategy. Big question is where you go on the next beat, that actually influence how you go around this boy. So guys, you should be looking up wind now. A, where's the wind for now? And B, are you gonna tack around this boy or carry on? You need to gather information to make the correct decision. So if this is all done correctly, you should get a perfectly straight line out the back of a lure mark. What we often see is the guys at the front get good roundings, then it gets lower and lower and lower. We can already see here, if we blades out of this leeward mark, we tack there, why? Why did we tack straight after that boy? Really interested to know the answer. I'm gonna go and find out. This sequence provides a good example of a coach supporting learning by wanting to discuss sailor decisions during the practice. To support sailors' learning, it is important for a coach to understand the problem they are wanting to solve. Can sailors recognise what success looks like and how it can be achieved? Does the training activity replicate situations sailors will experience while racing? Mm -hmm.